Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of on the fence between being controversial and not being controversial. It's like right in that happy medium area. And because of that, I want to first start this out by saying something that I think needs to be said. And it's unfortunate that it needs to be said every single time someone makes these kind of videos. But you know what? It is what it is. This is my opinion. This is my channel. You are on my channel. I sat down and I spend the time each and every day filming, editing all these videos that you see down below. Maybe this is your first video of me and you know what, if it's something that makes you think negatively of me, that's okay. I don't really care and I'm sorry that sounds kind of bitchy but I am allowed to have my beliefs and my opinions and you are more than welcome to have your beliefs and your opinions and I am completely okay with you you know talking about them down below in the comment section however I do not believe in bullying I do not think it's okay I am totally against bullying so say your opinions down below I don't care. If you agree with me, agree with me. If you disagree with me, disagree with me. If you want to be in the middle and be neutral, be Switzerland, and just be like, hey man, peace and love, why can't we all get along? That's fine too. I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want to do. However, please refrain from using anything that can be considered bullying because to me, it pisses me off, it annoys me, and I just absolutely hate it. And I will block you and I will erase your comment. So all that, you know, effort you put into that one comment about calling someone fat or calling someone a cunt or a bitch, it will be for nothing because it's going to be gone in two seconds. So, yeah, enjoy. So the reason why I'm sitting here today to do this video is because I cannot tell you guys how many times I've logged onto YouTube in the past few weeks alone, and I've seen just about every other video in my subscription list, and even in my recommendations list, be about somebody dragging the absolute shit out of another content creator. It's somebody is always being dragged by these people, and when I say dragged, I mean they are dragging the absolute shit out of these people through fire, through water, through mud, through sand, through hell, through purgatory. It's honestly absolutely comical to see how ridiculous a lot of these like drama things are because you have drama between the subscribers and the YouTubers, people who they follow. You see drama between the YouTubers and the companies that they affiliate themselves with. You see drama between the companies and the subscribers of the YouTubers they work with. It's absolutely ridiculous and just... <sighs> But the most ridiculous thing that I've seen on here is between the YouTubers versus the YouTubers. People who are content creators, both of them, now attacking each other. And to me, that's just so sad because we are all here, at least as creators, and maybe even subscribers who are looking into becoming YouTubers, we're all here for a common reason. We all love to sit down and do this. We like to film. We like to edit. We don't mind the hard work that goes into all this stuff. We don't mind it because we actually enjoy it. And you know what's sad? I actually forgot one. Subscribers of different YouTubers going after the subscribers of other YouTubers. Like, there's just so many different variations of drama that happen been here and I don't really notice anything of this kind of sort happening in any other community and maybe there are maybe there are I don't know maybe there is but I don't watch any other community so all I would know about is this one and I've got to say it's just sad bashing other youtubers because you simply don't like what they do on their channel is absolutely ridiculous and I promise you if they had the roles reversed and that youtuber came to your channel and then went back to their channel made a video about your channel saying, I don't like this and this and this and this, you wouldn't be happy about it either. Just fucking stop it. We're not five. The most disturbing thing I've seen on here, and this was, like, this was a while ago, I haven't seen anything like this since, but this is a good example of why I get so heated with this kind of thing, is because I have seen YouTubers make videos about other people's channels, like talking about how their camera isn't the best quality, saying how the lighting is shit, their makeup looked bad, their hair looked bad, their clothes looked ugly, the background wasn't pretty enough. What is wrong with you? That is absolutely out of line and so inappropriate. What gives you the right to go to someone's channel and then make a video about them and then say, oh, they were ugly, all this bullshit about them? Listen, I'm pretty sure we all started out with the poorest of quality when it comes to videos and cameras and lighting. Listen, I've been in the game for two years now and I just started to figure out what lighting works and what doesn't for my channel. I still use a not as good as everyone else's camera, but you know what? 
I still sit down and I still like to make my content and I still have subscribers who like what I create and put out. That's one thing I want my, you know, my maybe beginner YouTubers to realize is this. You're going to have critics from every angle. When you do videos like these or do videos at all, you're going to notice that you're going to have a lot of people who come onto your channel, especially the trolls, but the trolls don't matter. They're literally just that trolls. You're going to have people who are going to critique you on every little thing, and that's not different from life. People judge you for everything. Does it mean you have to listen to them? Absolutely not. It is not your business what other people think of you. Remember that. Please remember that. There is no right or wrong way to do this. If you want to start a YouTube channel, boo-boo, you start that YouTube channel. Just make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into because you know what? At some points in doing this kind of thing, there are moments where people's words, believe it or not, and you may be headstrong. I'm a very headstrong person, but there are sometimes people will say some things to you that will hurt your feelings, but you need to realize they're only doing it out of jealousy, out of envy, that they don't have the cojones to come in here and make a video about something that they care about. So it's been a few days between that last clip and right now, obviously, I am completely looking different, but I'm still heated, so let's continue. And excuse this, because I had to do my hair color again, and in tomorrow's video, you're gonna learn why. Not very happy about it. You're gonna face backlash left and right. You won't believe how many people are gonna not like what you do. But you need to realize that for every one person or one troll that tells you you're ugly or you're fat or you're boring or your videos are too long or your background is ugly or your setup is shitty or whatever they complain about nowadays, for every one person who does that, there is at least five or ten people or maybe even thousands more who would appreciate everything you do as a YouTuber and what you bring to the table as long as you create quality content. I don't know what these people think quality content is, but in my eyes, and I'm pretty sure I speak for a lot of people when I say this, quality content does not include someone sitting in front of a camera for ten minutes bitching about a person, completely ripping them apart and dragging them all over hell and Timbuktu over some shit that happened well over a year ago, almost two years now ago, and it's still being brought up. For a very, very long time, I would literally avoid Manny MUA's channel like the Black Plague in fear that if someone had seen me on his channel, they would assume that I condoned bullying and I was okay with what he had done. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to talk about it here because this is not the time nor the place, nor is it relevant anymore. I don't give a shit. It's in the past. It happened. He apologized, not to the person directly like he should have, but you know what? He apologized. Whatever happened, happened. It's over with. It's done. I avoided his channel for the longest time because of what had happened. And I know a lot of people did the same thing. They did away with him because of what happened. They did away with Gerard Cosmetics because of what happened. And that's understandable because bullying is not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't matter what social media platform you use to do it. You know, it, it catches up to you. And I think he learned his lesson, which is the reason why I kind of gave him a chance. You know, it's been a long time since that incident. It's done with. It's irrelevant now. However, people cannot leave him alone alone about it. I've seen videos in which people will sit on there and argue with his subscribers over something that had happened well over a year and a half ago after he had originally apologized. So all the while that I've been ignoring him, I have missed out on somebody who is truly talented. I'd never heard of him or his channel until that drama happened. Obviously, a lot of people don't really get noticed until something big on their channel happens, and that's the way it is nowadays, and that's unfortunate because I would hate to have my channel only gain so much momentum because of drama. That would be, like, completely dumb. Also, to all the people who say that the only reason why he's gained so much success is because he's friends or BFFs with Patrick Starr and Jaclyn Hill, um, excuse me, um, the reason why he's gained so much success, yes, he might have had a little boost because Jaclyn has endorsed him as being really good and she is best friends with him, supposedly best friends, I don't know their relationship, I don't really care. The successes he's had with his channel have all happened because he put forth the effort and the work into his channel to make it work and to make it happen for himself. For all of you who want to say that he's not talented or that he doesn't deserve the success that he's had in his channel or that he talks too highly of himself, that he thinks he's such hot shit, listen, Boo Boo. Where you're at right now as far as saltiness, we're at Dead Sea saltiness right now. We need to get you down to, like, ordering a new fresh batch of fries because you want no salt in them, bitches. That's what we need to get you to. If he wasn't talented, 
I guarantee you not one of the companies that he's ever collabed with in the past or more recently would have even wasted their time batting any of their red cherry lashes towards the general direction. And you know what? I don't want to make this just about Manny. I don't want you to think, oh my god, this is all about Manny and defending Manny. No. That is not what this is about. This is just me giving you a prime example of the bullshit that I've seen on my channel in my subscription lists for the past few months. That is just one, one of the videos I've seen on my subscription list. Any one of us smaller YouTubers has the ability to gain that much momentum and that much success in our lives with our channels just as easily as he did. There's no reason why you can't go out and make your channel in something better and make it famous if that's what you want. To me, that's not what this is about. I just love doing this kind of thing and have a passion for it. But the thing is, if you really want that level of success that Manny and Patrick and Jacqueline and Kathleen Light and Nicole Guerrero, if you want that ultra stardom for your channel, you have to make this your everything. There's no time for play. Unfortunately, if you really want that kind of success, you have to sacrifice a lot to get it to that point. And you know what? To some people like me, it's worth it in the end because you're doing what you want as a job. That's the thing. If you want to make your channel into something that big, you need to make this your main focus. You could easily get the success that they have all had. There's no reason why you can't. It's just a matter of what, how much you're willing to put into it. Giving Patrick and Jacqueline all the credit for Manny's success and all his channel success is absolutely ridiculous. So don't sit here and tell me that Manny is untalented, that the only reason why he's successful is because of Jacqueline and Patrick. No. He worked his ass off, his nice ass, by the way, damn, to get his channel to where it is now. Any one of us can do it. You can do it too. Stop being jealous, stop being salty, and just put forth the work. It's not that hard. I need to calm the fuck down. I'm getting way too heated. I hate going on my subscription lists and unfollowing and unsubscribing to all these channels because all they do is just talk shit about each other. Like, the YouTube I was first you know, into and first watching was completely different from what it is now. And it's become such a shit show of just everybody. They're a bitch, they're not talented, they're not this. Why? Like, why can't we all just respect each other as fellow content creators, as fellow subscribers of somebody that we mutually like? As content creators, I feel like we should all have enough respect for each other and appreciation for what we do here to understand that everybody has different styles at what they do. We are all here for a common reason, and that is to do these videos and have fun and create a community within a big community of our subscribers and followers and create quality content and have fun doing what we're doing. And I feel like YouTube, as far as the beauty community, has lost all the good feeling that it used to have in the beginning. And that to me is such a tragedy and I absolutely hate it. I would much rather be known as a beauty YouTuber who tried to instill positivity and happiness on our channel, at least if it's on my channel. At least on my channel, I wanna make sure that I send a message of positivity and kindness because I feel like it's something that we don't really have enough of in the world. And I feel like, especially now, the beauty community is seen as drama. Like, if you don't want to have any hate in your life, don't be on YouTube when it comes to the beauty community because all you're going to have is people talking shit about you, all this bullshit. If you say one bad thing about a company or their products, you're going to get attacked. Like, it should not be like that. Say you're looking for a review, an honest, well thought out review of this product, right? A lot of the people who have these products in their videos who are reviewing them are so afraid of saying something negative about it because they don't want to face the backlash that they think they're going to get from people who have used it before, who absolutely love it, the holy grail people who have this as their holy grail makeup remover, or even the company themselves. They are terrified to say the truth if they really did not like the product because they don't want to be tormented by people. And that is not what this is about. No one should ever be afraid to speak their mind or their opinions about anything. That is wrong. And the fact that people are afraid to do such things as that just shows you how bad it's gotten here. I know I've kind of strayed away from what I was trying to say originally, but there are so many aspects of this whole situation that I really wanted to cover, and I think I pretty, did a pretty good job of it. And I just want to let you guys know, like, the overall message I'm trying to send to you guys is this. We need to be more mindful of what we say to each other, because we are each and every one of us, we're all human beings, 
and we do have feelings. And a lot of us, like me, I am somebody who likes to be headstrong and act like not everything gets to me. But you know what? Secretly, when I'm by myself, you know, that one comment about me being fat or being me being ugly or whatever, what have you, you know, it doesn't affect me in the moment as I'm reading it. But later on, when I sit down and I do write my journal nightly, every night I write my journal, I'll talk about it and how it makes me feel. And it makes me feel like shit. And you know what? I, it, it, there's so many people who have it so much worse off than I do, which is why I don't really bring attention to it, because I don't feel bad for myself. I feel bad for people who have it much worse off than I do. YouTube itself, as far as the beauty community, has become such a negative place, and I would love nothing more than to return it back to the seemingly drama-free environment that it was back in the day when I started my channel. And you know what? I know it's... <laughs> It's impossible to make that happen overnight, but I feel like even if I just started with my channel and just started to instill messages of peace and, you know, kindness and understanding for each other, that maybe, you know, it'll catch on and people will start doing it as well. But we don't need to waste our times and bring people down. And the fact that I've heard from different creators from different genres here on YouTube of people saying how, you know, the beauty community of itself is a really drama-filled thing, you know, it, it shouldn't be, we shouldn't be thought of like that, you know what I mean? And that, that, that stems from the image we are creating when we do the videos that we do about other people, other content creators, and start drama and throw shade and open your mind before you open your mouth. I thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you.